to solve this uh, 9291101 divided by 72910 no what about this after watching this video you will be an expert of all these complicated divisions hi guys this is Adam you are watching the development well let us try with a simpler one something like 564 divided by 269 what to do initially you just have to round it up okay uh, this is 269 269 close to 269 is 270 right simple okay now this is 570 clear now these two zeros will be cancelled see initially we are not going to solve it we are going to get the ratio that's it okay because actually we have to solve this one I'll, I'll help you definitely just see this and let me know so 27 twos are 54 right so 2 and yeah definitely you can work with this too but I'll ask you to go a little further to get a little more accurate <laughs> okay because uh, what are the things we are working on this video we are going to get approximated value okay so <laughs> two and then if we put this point here uh, we'll get three right I mean yeah definitely when there will be three then 30 so 27 will go one time for that clear 2.1 now this 2.1 is your ratio as i told you already that you can work with this two also but in that case your approximation will be little ahead now let us work on this one we are going to get the round of values for that i'll tell you the tricks that is initially we are adding one to get 270 for the denominator how much should we add to the numerator now you tell me we know the ratio is 2.1 that means 2.1 times this numerator is 2.1 times bigger than this denominator right so uh, if we're adding 1 to the new uh, denominator we have to add differently 2.1 to the num uh, numerator so 5 66.1 clear right simple up to this differently it is simple and after this also it will be simple now we are going to remove this zero how we are dividing both numerator and denominator by 10 so this point will go here <laughs> so the number is 56.61 and 27 now definitely 27 is a smaller number but should we work with this i mean should we start dividing this no <laughs> not at all we are going to add again something like yeah definitely we can make it 30 right so to make it 30 we have to add plus 3 now uh we know the numerator is 2.1 times bigger right so how much should we add to the numerator now yeah 2.1 into 3 that is 6.3 to this number so 56 plus 6 62 and this 3 will be added here so 9 1 fine and this one will be yes three is added now again i'm going to remove this zero how yeah definitely same way 10 will be <laughs> both numerator and denominator will be divided by 10 so this point will go here clear so now the final number is 6.291 
divided by 3. Now any kindergarten kids will be able to solve this. <laughs> right. So the final answer will be 3 2 is a 6 and 2 will not go right. So we have to put one zero. Now 9, 29, 30. It's not 30. So 3 9 is a 27. And then 2 and 21, 3 7 is a 21. This is your answer. Now let me check it with a calculator. I don't know whether you can see it or not. So the actual number is 564 divided by 269. The final answer is, if you can see this, 2.096. Here it is 2.097. Uh, if you approximate even, this is 2.0966. Okay, so that is also 7. So we are this much closer, and even up to 3 digits, it is correct. Absolutely correct. Now, every time you will not get absolute correct value, but you will reach up to the level. Let's work with uh, another one, something like. Uh, So this time we are going to work with a bigger number, something like uh, 8, uh, 0, 2, <laughs> any number, 6, 8, 1, 3, any random number, you can work with any random number. Mm, so in that way only you will be able to understand how much <laughs> we can go. So how to solve this? What is the first part? We have to find the ratio right okay so for this type of bigger number okay i forgot to tell you one thing for the last uh, one 564 right 564 divided was two two six time right so at the first step even i have shown you in the in i have shown you in two steps but uh, for this number you can do it directly in one go how we found the ratio was 2.1, right? Now, directly we can add 31 to this, plus 31 to make it 300, <laughs> right? So it will be 300. Uh, and uh, if we add 31 to this denominator, how much should we add here to the numerator? Yeah, 2.1 times bigger. So 60, I should, oh, forget it. So, yeah, 62 point, how much? One? Oh, three one, sorry. So, 62 has to be added. So, 564 plus 62, that is 64 plus 62 is 122, <laughs> 126. So, 626.31. point three one. Now what happened is directly we got a one digit number because we are going to divide both numerator and denominator by 100 this time, right? So the number is 6.2631. You just work with this, again you will reach the same number. Okay, so I'm just leaving it to you. Uh, yeah, for this case you can go directly in one step but sometimes the ratio will not be 2.1 sometimes the ratio will be like 21 or maybe 12 and that times uh, multiplying the number will not be easier so i have shown you uh, to work in two steps and depends on you and depends on the sum yeah <laughs> every time things will not be same so for this finding the ratio will be different how uh, just take this part, 4 digit and 3 digit. Why 4 and 3? Because we are removing this 2, okay, <laughs> from the right side. Now, uh, simply, uh, this is 700, we can, yeah, definitely we can assume this is 700 and, and this is 8000, maybe 700, okay. So removing this two, and if we go, if we divide, things will be one, then two, 
uh, four or maybe you can put it five see if you're getting four then you can put it five uh, things will be easier for you so the ratio this time is 12.5 right now after getting the ratio work with the same number work with the original number never work with the number you have evaluated now six eight seven one three this time i'm going to reduce this 13 right so if we are going to subtract 13 to the denominator how much we should um, subtract from the numerator 13 into 12.5 tough not at all it's 13 square see it's almost 13 right so we can take 13 square what is 13 square 169 <laughs> so uh yeah some squares has to be memorized because 11 square 121 12 square 144 13 square 169 like that yeah definitely it's not tough now again uh this number is not 13 so we cannot take directly 169 i'll help you uh 12.5 means in between half of 13 that means you can just simply remove six okay um, so the number will be 162 right and uh so if we are adding 160 again wait uh just removing this so it will be six eight seven double zero and numerator we are removing 162 162 means uh this three number will be same eight seven nine and 400 minus 160 is 240 240 two two cancels itself so <laughs> uh, dividing both numerator and denominator by 100 means that we play a point here right simple uh, now uh, 687 okay should we work with this no again we are going to round it up the number will be yeah 700 right so how much should we add this time Oh, this is 13. So this time we are going to add 13. <laughs> okay, um, this is accidental case. Uh, usually uh, this does not match, but okay, let's work with this. So if we are adding 13 to get 700 in denominator, how much we should add to the numerator? Now you tell me. Yes, 162, same. So if we add 162 with this, uh, yeah, definitely 1616 means 95. So 8, 9, 5, and 2 to 4. Right, 0. 0.4. It's not tough, my friend. You just follow this rule, find the ratio first, and then round it up. Uh, things will be easier for you. <laughs> no worries. So, dividing both numerators and denominators by 100 so this point will come uh, here right so the final number is 8954 89.544 and the denominator is uh, only 7 right now any kids can solve this right so the final answer will be uh, 1, then 2 minus 12.7, uh, etc. Right. So if we uh, see it with calculator, uh, we check it. Things will be 8, 7, 9, 4, 0, 2 divided by... 68713 <coughs> yeah <laughs> so it's matching 12.78 uh, 12.798 uh, 12 uh, you can check it now tell me what was the first number can you solve this what to do first step getting the ratio right so what will be the ratio first let us remove this part and 
this is 700 and this one it's uh, 9300 if we remove this 713 is 91 right so we can directly get 13 now 13 is your ratio now i'm not going to solve it for you pause this video solve it now write it in the comment box and then go move ahead so many videos are there in the members area also you can join and check it out so don't forget to like this video share it with your friends and subscribe to this channel <laughs> don't forget to press the bell icon okay so that's it for today bye bye